this one, directing the tone downward. My new teacher tilts her head back, fakes, Esley, what's going on over there? Esley, she's crying. Esley, I need you to do it. You need her to learn. Sorry. Esley. Esley, I need you to straighten up. Right. I need to go up. You want to go up and torch yourself and come back? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'm okay. I just don't. Wait. Okay. 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 My new teacher, pay attention. My new teacher tilts her head back and fakes an easy sad or laugh. This one's called Rainbow. Going to school, I face the class. Miss Scott speaks. Each classmate says something. I don't understand, but I see. Who's talking? Really? Who's talking? Really? I face the class. Miss Scott speaks. I don't understand, but I see. Fire hair on skin dotted with spots. It's probably freckles of some kind. Fuzzy dark hair on skin, shiny and black hair. So she's looking at the appearance of all these other kids that look very different from her. She's used to coming from a place where all the kids look like her. Dark skin, dark hair. Um, fuzzy hair, you said that hair, the color of root on milky skin. Milky means black hair. Lots of braids on milk chocolate. White hair on a pink boy. Honey hair with orange ribbons on sea blue skin. Hair with barrettes in all colors on bronze, red, and the only straight black hair on olive skin. Of course, olive skin means darker skin. Black and white and yellow and red. The bell rings, everyone stands, I stand, they line up, the line. Down the hall, turn left, take a tray, receive food, sit. On one side of the bright nosy room, light skin, other side, dark skin. No, it's not focus. If you guys have ever noticed, I explain before you hop off the line. I'm strange. Let, let me explain. This is true. They give me credit for being on the earth a little bit longer than you. I've seen, and it's true. I don't want to send people out. Not good. I just need to. When kids go in a room together that don't know each other, usually they go with who they feel more comfortable with. Usually it's people like themselves. Not always. Not always. Normally. It's getting to be better. It used to be a lot more Okay, because people that weren't as, um, they didn't know each other. They weren't as integrated with each other. But it still is that way. There's been a book written about it. About, it's just like psychological thing. People go, to, they, they tend to gravitate towards people that have been All right, so, um, one a bright, noisy room, light skin, other side, dark skin. They are not segregating each other. That's not what that means. Both laughing, chewing, as if it never occurred to them, someone medium color might show up. So she feels out of place because she's right in the middle. Now, you might say, what about the Hispanic children? But at that time, there were not as many Hispanic people in that time. That was, you know, 50 years ago. There weren't as many people there. So you mainly had, for some, but you mainly had a black and white. I don't know where to sit any more than I know how to eat. The pink sausage snuggled inside bread, shaped like a corn cup, smeared with sausage, yellow and red, stuck on a hot dog. I think they're making fun of the Vietnamese flag until I remember that no one here likely knows that flag's colors. I put down the tray and wait in the hallway. Loud outside. Another bell, another line, this time outside. Every part of the rainbow surrounds me, shouting, pushing. A pink boy with white hair on his head and white eyebrows, white eyelashes, pulls my arm hair. Laughter. It's true, my arm hair grows blonde and black. Right? Now, they don't... People don't shave themselves the way that we do in America sometimes. So she would have a lot of hair on her arm. And she wouldn't think anything of it. She probably would have hair on her arm. Um, 
Um, maybe he's curious about my long black arm hair, like I was curious about the golden fuzz of the arm on the rescue ship sailor. She noticed that the blonde sailor had a lot of blonde hair, quite blonde hair. He pokes my cheek, howls from everywhere. He pokes my chest. I see nothing but squeezed eyes, twisted mouths. No, they're not curious. I want to pluck out every white hair to see if the boy's scalp matches the pink of his face. I wish this, but I walk away. Laugh back. The pink boy and two loud friends follow me home. I count each step, walk faster. I won't let them see me run. I count in English, forcing it to the front of my mind. I can't help but glance back. The pink boy shouts, showing a black hole where sharp teeth glow. I walk.